super scopes and multicast scopes are somewhat of a hack in the in the Microsoft world. Basically, what this means is, um, you know, when I talked before about DHCP, we know that, that DHCP works with broadcast addresses. That means it's restricted to one IP subnet range. Um, so the the thing is, you can have with VLANing, you could technically have one network with a, you know a LAN network that has multiple subnets without being routed. I mean, the broadcast could be passed through all these different networks. Um, so theoretically, let's say you wanted to have, you know, five ranges of IP addresses all doing DHCP from one DHCP server, but they're all technically on the same LAN, you could use Superscopes to do that. So Superscopes is just kind of a way to make DHCP work with multiple subnets in the same network. But I, I should say that I don't think that this is a great idea. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I, in my experience there always seems to be some strange issues that crop up when you uh, when you try to do something like this. But Microsoft does support it, so you can set up super scopes in the DHCP server in uh, in Microsoft. Um, so here's a simple example of, of what it might look like pictorially. You have two different subnets here, um, and all the clients are able to request the addresses. Uh, and really what happens is the DHCP server just determines which scope to hand out the IP addresses to. Um, so this is kind of a way to get around using relay agents. Um, but the relay agents to me seem like a much cleaner way to do this than trying to use super scopes. Uh, but certainly you could use super scopes uh, if you think it's going to work for you. Um, so you can create super scopes in the DHCP console by right clicking the IPv4 node. You click a new super scope and then you follow the wizard to create your new scope. Uh, you could also do it with a command shell, um, a PowerShell commandlet rather, as you can see here in that slide. Uh, multicast uh, scopes are somewhat uh, similar. It's an IPv4 uh, multicast packet is addressed to a group of hosts listening on a particular multicast IP address, but this requires the multicast address dynamic client application protocol, which I don't see in common use in most networks. But again, this is another, another option that you could use um, uh, with DHCP. Probably a better option, however, uh, if, if you want to have a very large range of IP addresses in a single network, uh, it may be better to move to uh, IPv6 um, if you can do so. So in the next slide deck, I'll talk about IPv6.